The crime left neighbors in disbelief. A beloved Southeast Houston business owner known for helping his community found beaten and beheaded. A disturbing crime scene, hard for even the most experienced detectives to comprehend. This man fought for his life for an extended period of time only to end up being beheaded. It's just extremely gruesome. But investigators had reason for optimism in the form of surveillance video. They just needed some help enhancing those images. Channel 2's Andy Sirota reveals how a forensic video expert led detectives to a suspect in just a matter of hours. It was a horrific crime that stunned a Southeast Houston neighborhood. Who would want to just, just, just do this? No issues with nobody. Everybody liked Andy. 58 year old Anayatola Korshan, Andy to his friends, was murdered inside his auto shop. I see the body laying down, a lot of blood. Late on the night of August 18th, the husband and father of two was beaten with a baseball bat, stabbed with a machete, and decapitated by his killer. This man was beaten and beheaded, and it was all caught on surveillance video. And we knew that, based on the position of the body, that the cameras would have captured the murder Potentially. Homicide investigator Alexander Vinograv knew his team would need help accessing and enhancing the video so he could get a clear picture of the suspect. We made the decision right then and there to call the video and audio lab. Kind of just in shock at first when that call in particular came because I was told it was a decapitation and it's not a call you get. <laughs> often or ever. Megan Timlin, an audio video analyst with the Houston Forensic Science Center, took the call. It's one of the worst videos I've ever seen in my life. It's, it was brutal. But Megan went to work quickly, enhancing the video from all five cameras on the property. As soon as the video started to unfold, um, you knew exactly who the subject was in the video. So I took it back to my office and worked on still images, enhancing those for better clarity, and then exported still images, printed still images, and narrowed the time frame so the investigators were just able to look at that one individual camera from start to finish. Within hours, detectives had clear pictures to show people in the neighborhood who immediately knew the name of the suspect and where to find him. We didn't have time to go home through the, we worked through the night with Sergeant Rhodes going under ditches because we would believe the suspect was somewhere within the vicinity. And by the time I made it home that day, the tips were already coming in saying, hey, we know where the suspect is at. It didn't take long for detectives to arrest 62-year-old Raymond Jackson. They say Korshand hired Jackson for odd jobs around the shop. Witnesses placed Jackson at the crime scene earlier that evening. By 3 a.m. I gave him the video and by noon he was arrested. It makes you feel good because you know the work that you were doing is for the victim and they might not be able to speak, but you can help show what is what was their last. The community now trying to come to grips with the loss of Andy Korshant, a beloved business owner who was just trying to help his neighbors. He always said that we have to forgive and forget. I don't know how we're going to forgive him and forget what this man did to him. I don't know how. Jackson is charged with murder. Investigators won't discuss a possible motive. Jackson will be arraigned on November 9th. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.